Shravana and welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about how PySpark runs in the cluster. So cluster here means the cluster is a pool of computers connected together. For example, here this is the Spark cluster. We have the driver, cluster manager and in this case I am taking yarn as the cluster manager and we have some worker nodes connected to the cluster. Okay. So now let's assume we have five worker nodes in the cluster. Okay. So let's assume also that we have e for each worker node we have memory like 16 CPU cores and 64 GB memory is available. And now we have five worker nodes, right? So for five nodes, let's do multiplication 16 into 5 which is 80 CPU cores and similarly 64 into 5 320 GB overall memory available. So now the cluster means a pool of computers connected together and this is the cluster memory. Now we know what is a cluster and what's the cluster configuration. So now let's see how I mean what will happen when you submit a PySpark job. So from any client mission you will have you will submit the job PySpark job using the spark submit command. So once you submit the command this request will go to driver and the spark context or spark session available present in this spark job right. So that will contact the cluster manager which is yarn our resource manager in our case okay here because I am assuming that I am working on the Hadoop cluster. So here yarn RM which is the yarn resource manager will be our cluster manager for negotiating the resources okay. So now this yarn resource manager means it is the central controlling component for the resource management and it makes the memory allocations that whatever the job requested for. So and uh, uh, yarn resource manager has two components for performing the operation that we are requesting for which are like scheduler and application manager. So this scheduler API helps in negotiating the resources required for completing the job. Okay. And the second one is applications manager. So this is responsible for accepting the job that we are uh, submitting through this job right so from here whatever tasks we are requesting to perform right so this application manager which will be available in this right here scheduler and then application manager so it will have two components so this application manager is responsible for accepting the job submissions and also it negotiates the am container for executing the application specific application master and also it provides the service for restarting AM container in case of any failure. Okay. So now what will happen is with the help of these two APIs, the scheduler and application manager APIs, Yarn resource manager will create one AM container in one of the worker nodes, any of the worker nodes. Okay. It, there, it, it will be decided by the Yarn RS, RM, which is resource manager. Okay. So and it will allocate some memory to it. Now what is the cluster memory that we have? A2 CPU cores and 320 GB memory that we have. So now let's say, let's assume like it has assigned and resource manager, right? It has assigned, it has con uh, like allocated some uh, worker as application master container, AM container and it is allocating let's say some 4 CPU cores and 16 GB memory that's like that will be decided based on the task that we are requesting for okay and so this uh, this memory will be allocated to the AM container. So there are some yarn scheduler configuration properties okay basically from the yarn side. So if you wanted to set some of this because Spark itself will be able to analyze the uh, like whatever plan that we have based on that it will analyze how much configuration is required and if you wanted to uh, configure if you wanted to uh, like update that configuration or you have to customize that configuration then there are some AM con like yarn scheduler uh, configuration properties you can use them and you can modify them as well okay. 
So based on this, yarn RF allocates memory to the AM container. Yet the main method will run in the AM container. Okay. So now let's take that AM container here. Application master container. So the main method will run here from the from from whatever job that we are submitting. If the main method is a PySpark application, then actually we all know that Spark is written in Scala and it runs on the JVMs, which is Java Virtual Machines on top of Spark, correct? So now whatever, like for example, take the Spark core that which is written in the Spark uh, Scala, okay? So now there will be a Java wrapper API and on top of it, it will have the Python wrapper. So this uses Py4j application, uh, which is Py4j application. This is PySpark API so that it will understand Python coding when it comes to the compilation. So if you, you are submitting a PySpark application, then the AM container will have this main method and it distributes the tasks to the worker nodes here whatever worker nodes that are available right so there it will distribute the tasks to the worker nodes so so if the job is just using the normal PySpark applications then because we have already the java wrapper and python wrapper which will understand the python code so it will be able to successfully execute the python related code as well okay but in case if the code is using any python specific libraries or any python udfs user defined functions then there will be separate python workers will be created on each of these executors and python extra code will be executed here okay so which is like here inside the am container let's uh, write it here here we will have Python driver okay and here inside that you have Python workers who will do the work for you so along with the JVM when JVM anyway it will be created right so along with that you will have Python worker as well in each of the nodes not not just in single worker node so to whichever the tasks are assigned from this AM container in all that Python workers will be available for for executing the Python specific libraries or if you have any UDFs okay but if it is just normal PySpark like normal data frame operations and like whatever uh, that Java like Spark core application can understand right. So for that case th there is no need of Python workers and it will be executed using that normal Python wrapper itself. This is how if you submit any application like PySpark application then this is how it will be executed in the runtime in the cluster. Hope this is useful to you friends. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.